In a world where connections are forged through digital interactions, it's crucial to ponder why we often find ourselves surrounded by individuals who drain our energy and contribute to our emotional turmoil. The perplexing question arises, why do we maintain friendships with those who gossip about us, those to whom we give tirelessly without receiving in return? It's a query that delves into the very essence of our choices in companionship. As we reflect on these dynamics, it becomes evident that there's a transformative power in learning to say no to toxic relationships. Delving deeper into this contemplation, one must question the rationale behind persisting in friendships that bring only negativity and stress. Imagine returning home, seeking solace, only to find stress perpetuated by the presence of another. As a friend, allowing such negativity to invade our sanctuary is not acceptable. It prompts a deeper inquiry. Why willingly choose stress in life? Why expose oneself to constant complaints and pessimism when the goal is to uplift and support? The realization dawns that the strength to confront such toxic relationships lies in acknowledging the power of no. By refusing to be entangled in a web of negativity, we pave the way for personal growth and empowerment. It's a declaration that our well-being is non-negotiable. Through this journey of self-empowerment, we not only liberate ourselves, but become beacons of inspiration for others. Facing the fear of severing ties with toxic friendships inspires those around us to do the same, creating a ripple effect of strength, resilience, and positive change. In essence, the signs of a bad friend or toxic person often manifest in their inability to be honest and forthright. A true friend, one worth keeping, is someone who, out of genuine care, provides constructive criticism, offers guidance, and facilitates personal growth. In contrast, a toxic friend enables self-destructive behavior by either remaining silent in the face of obvious flaws, or worse, encouraging detrimental actions. To foster genuine connections, we must prioritize honesty, empathy, and the well-being of those we call friends. You know, it's interesting how some friends can be, right? Like, they always seem to pop up when they need advice or someone to lean on. But when you're the one seeking support, they're nowhere to be found. So let's have a little chat about these vibes we're getting from certain folks. Feel free to drop a comment below, because honestly, I'm in need of a free therapist right now. And hey, that's what we've become for some people, right? Free therapists. Ever had those moments where you leave a hangout feeling completely drained? Well, that's no surprise when you're the designated emotional dumping ground. You listen to their struggles, carry their emotional baggage, and then whoop, there you are, left to pick up the pieces and heal them. Not the best feeling, I must say. It's tough constantly being the listening ear while craving someone to hear you out too. Here's another thing. Ever notice that some friends might not see you as just a friend? It's almost like they view you as competition. I've had my fair share of experiences where friends, instead of being themselves, start morphing into my doppelganger. Hair color, eyebrows, heck, even going under the knife to look like me. It's flattering in a weird way. But it's also a bit much. My cousin always say to me, Zara, they're not your friends. They're not for real. Real friendships don't involve jealousy. They appreciate and celebrate the uniqueness in each other. So let's just be ourselves and embrace the fact that no matter how hard someone tries, they can never be us. Energy and souls, my friend, are irreplaceable. You know, it's pretty concerning when you're surrounded by individuals who try so hard to be someone else. I can't stress enough how dangerous these friends can be. Another thing that's truly baffling is when they go around spreading rumors about other people. I mean, seriously. How do you even maintain friendships with individuals who knowingly spread false information, fully aware of the potential harm it can cause to families and individuals? It's essentially like being an accomplice to a form of character assassination. These things can even escalate to life-threatening situations, and it's mind-boggling how anyone can be friends with such a negative vibe. Let me make this clear. If someone is spreading rumors about others, thinking they won't do the same to you, you're in for a big wake-up call. Don't engage in gossip that aims to create harm. 
Gossip, sure, it's normal. We're all human. But deliberately trying to hurt someone? That's just heartless and, frankly, disgusting. I don't get how people can be friends with individuals like that. And here's the kicker. These are the same folks who will reveal your secrets, spreading your personal matters around without a second thought. My advice? Don't confide in them. Keep your personal stuff on a need-to-know basis. Imagine being excited and happy, only to meet up with them and have them rain on your parade. Hanging around such low-life individuals will only drag you down. And trust me, misery loves company. So surround yourself with people you aspire to be like, not those who'll constantly bring you down to their level. These folks also have a knack for not respecting your boundaries. You express your discomfort about something, and suddenly you're labeled as sensitive or dramatic. But flip the script, and they expect the world to sympathize with them. It's crucial to set and maintain boundaries with such individuals. Don't let them trample over your limits, and most importantly, take your own boundaries seriously. If they don't respect your boundaries, they won't respect you. And let's talk about those who never suggest paying for anything. It's great to be generous but constantly being the giver without any suggestion of sharing the expenses gets old real quick. If you find yourself in this situation, start asserting your needs. Next time you go out, make it clear that everyone should contribute. It's a simple step to avoid being taken advantage of. Lastly, those friends who are ashamed to be seen with you or are hesitant to introduce you to others, let me tell you, that's a red flag. You should never let anyone make you feel less than you are. If they're ashamed to be associated with you, they're not worth your time and energy. You're not worthless, and their projections don't define your reality. Cut ties. Focus on those who genuinely appreciate you and watch how your life transforms for the better. You deserve friends who lift you up, not drag you down. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow us for more. Thanks.